Navigating teen years can be difficult, and it can be even more stressful for LGBTQ plus youth, according to the CDC. There's a big need to help these students. Youth Pride Association has a peer mentor program that's in high demand. And right now that unfortunately has an eight-week wait list because we're just unable to train enough volunteers at the moment. These services are desperately needed. In 2021, 69% of LGBTQ plus youth reported feeling persistently sad and hopeless. For heterosexual youth, that figure was 35%. During the pandemic, LGBTQ plus youth high school students were about four times more likely to attempt suicide than their heterosexual peers. And 20% of LGBTQ plus students said they had been physically abused by a parent or other adult in their home. For heterosexual students, it was 10%. It's rather tragic. Um, the Because uh, we find that the solution is rather simple to this issue, right? Uh, the APA and the CDC and a lot of other organizations similar to ours hold that like a, an affirming school environment will rather uh, will mitigate a lot of these uh, uh, disparities. Advocates say schools can create a safe and supportive school environment that can help promote these students' health and well-being. An affirming classroom in an ideal sense would just be one where uh, the topic of LGBTQ is not something that's considered taboo, right? where LGBTQ students can chat about the lives that they're facing, the feelings that they have without ridicule and it not be, uh, you know, a hot button issue, right? Because LGBTQ people, we exist in like every community. Bianca Holman, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.